Hi and welcome to Expanding Triple Brackets. Uh, just before we start a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so first things first, um, I just want to look at how we would go about um, multiplying out a double bracket with an, a term in front of that as well, an x in, in front of that, just to see what our method is going to be moving forwards. Um, and so the first thing I want to do is I just want to look at um, expanding this piece. I'm going to ignore the front, I'm going to ignore the first term, and I'm just going to multiply x plus 1 and x plus 2, because when we uh, are dealing with any type of multiplication, we can do it in any order we like, um, as, as long as we do all three pieces. So x plus 1 times x plus 2. Well, I'm just going to uh, quickly uh, do a quick grid in order to uh, work that out. So x plus 1, x plus 2, put them together, x times x is x squared, 1 times x is plus x, x times plus 2 is plus 2x, uh, plus 2 times plus 1 is plus 2. And so this is x squared, and then if we put together these two pieces here, that is plus 3x, and then plus 2. Now, that is only the end piece. This all has to be multiplied by x. And so, if I'm going to do that, what I actually want to do here is add a further grid. This is now all going to be multiplied by x. So x squared times x, well that is now x cubed. 3x times x, well that is plus 3x squared. And x times 2, well that is now plus 2x. And so when we expand all of that out entirely, we get x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x. Let's see if we can do the same for the second one. Again, I'm going to split off and just deal with the last two brackets first. x minus 2, x plus 4. Well, if I quickly have a look at this, that's going to be x squared. And then if it's negative 2x and positive 4x, that's going to be plus 2x. And negative 2 times uh, positive 4 is negative 8. So I've expanded the pair of brackets. Now if I introduce the x term that was in front of that, well now all of this must be multiplied by x. And so I've got x times x squared, that's going to be x cubed x times plus 2x, so that's plus 2x squared, and x times negative 8 is negative 8x. And so we have x cubed plus 2x squared, take away 8x. And then, lastly, do exactly the same again. Let's just look at the, uh, at the end brackets. Again, you might want to do a little grid in order to help you to actually expand that bracket. That's x take away 3, x take away 2. So I've got x squared, negative 2x, negative 3x, and positive 6. And so that gives me x squared. If I then deal with this piece in the middle, simplifying, that's going to be negative 5x, and then plus 6. And again, all I want to do now is I want to multiply everything here by x, just to make sure that I'm multiplying every term by x. So x cubed, take away 5x squared, plus 6x. So our answer to that question will be x cubed, take away 5x squared, plus 6x. Now at this stage, we're now looking at multiplying three brackets together. So we've got um, our, uh, the same as what we've had previously, but now there are brackets involved. So what we're going to do is exactly the same thing. I'm going to break down this situation into two pieces. Now it is entirely up to you which uh, pair of brackets you choose. I'm going to go with the end two in each case, just so I can keep a common method each time. 
And so the first thing I need to do is just to multiply out the two brackets that I have uh, I have gotten. So x plus 2 and x plus 5. Well, straight away, that tells me I've got x squared and plus 2 plus 5. So that's plus 7x. And plus 2 times plus 5 is plus 10. That's the slightly quicker way of uh, expanding out a double bracket. But now what's actually happening is that that entire expression is going to be multiplied by two terms because it's now going to be multiplied by x and by plus 3. And so we should end up with six terms in our answer. So x squared times x is going to be x cubed x plus, uh, times plus 7x is plus 7x squared x times plus 10 is plus 10x underneath i've now got x squared times plus 3 so that's plus 3x squared plus 3 times plus 7x well that's going to be plus 21x and plus 3 times plus 10 is plus 30 now we need to do some simplifying so x cubed is all on its own so we've definitely got x cubed then we have a diagonal here plus 3x squared plus 7x squared so that is plus 10x squared the next diagonal plus 21x plus 10x is plus 31x and finally the plus 30 well that is all on its own and so there is our final answer x cubed plus 10x squared plus 31x plus 30. okay so next let's have a look at x plus 3 x minus 4 again i'm splitting off so i'm only looking at the second two brackets to start with now again uh, let's just do this one as a quick one x times x is x squared i've got plus 3 and take away 4 so that means i've got negative x and plus 3 times negative 4, well that's going to be negative 12. So that's x squared, take away x, take away 12. But again, this is all now multiplied by two further terms. And so this is going to be multiplied by x and multiplied by negative 1. x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative x is negative x squared x times negative 12 is negative 12 x then x squared times negative 1 well that's negative x squared negative 1 times negative x well that's actually positive x and negative 1 times negative 12 that's positive 12 and so simplifying we do this in diagonals and so the first diagonal x cubed this one we've got negative x squared take away negative uh, take away x squared so that's negative 2 x squared we then have uh, plus x uh, take away 12x that's negative 11x and finally we have plus 12 at the end and uh, finally same again i'm breaking off so i'm only dealing with the end two uh, to begin with so that is x minus two and x minus five so if i were to multiply those together i would get x squared negative two and negative five so that means i've got negative seven x and then negative two times negative five well that's going to be positive ten but once again these all need to be multiplied by two extra terms and so we break it up We've got x and we've got take away 2. So x times x squared, that's going to be x cubed. x times negative 7x is negative 7x squared. x times positive 10 is plus 10x. Negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 7x is plus 14x. And negative 2 times positive 10 is negative 20 and so once again all i want to do look at my uh, diagonals so i've got x cubed i've got negative 2x squared and negative 7x squared so that's take away 9x squared i've then got plus 14x plus 10x so that's plus 24x and finally 
negative 20 all on its own. And so the final stage is just to introduce, say, a few coefficients of x into these brackets just to see what effect that has on our answers. Um, the method, though, isn't going to change at all. All I want to do is, again, break off. So I'm only dealing with the uh, last two brackets to begin with and then multiply by the other two terms. So in the first case, I've got x plus 4, x plus 3. So that means I'm going to have x squared plus 7x plus 12. And each of those are going to be multiplied by the two terms of the first bracket. So that's going to be 2x and plus 3. So 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. 2x times plus 7x is plus 14x squared. 2x times plus 12 is plus 24x plus 3 times x squared is plus 3x squared, plus 3 times plus 7x is plus 21x, and plus 3 times plus 12 is plus 36. Once again, go along your diagonals in order to simplify. So you've got 2x cubed, we have 3x squared plus 14x squared, so that's plus 17x squared, plus 21x and plus 24x, that's plus 45x, and finally plus 36. Let's do the same again, split off. We've got 3x plus 1, 2x take away 4. In this case, you might want to do um, a slightly more complex version of um, expanding the first bracket than just trying to add them up. We've got 3x times 2x, so that's 6x squared. I've got 3x times negative 4, so that's negative 12x. I've got plus 1 times 2x, so that's plus 2x. And plus 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Now, let's simplify that. That's going to be 6x squared. Negative 12x plus 2, uh, 2x, so that's negative 10x and uh, negative 4. But all of this, as it has in the previous questions, is now going to be multiplied by two further terms. This time it's going to be multiplied by x and uh, multiplied by plus 2. So 6x squared times x is 6x cubed. x times negative 10x is negative 10x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. 6x squared times positive 2 is plus 12x squared plus 2 times negative 10x is negative 20x, and plus 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Let's go down the diagonals. So I've got 6x cubed. I've got plus 12x take, uh, squared to take away 10x squared, so that's plus 2x squared. Negative 20x take away 4x, negative 24x and take away 8. And finally, same thing again, let's split off the last two brackets, 2x minus 2, 3x minus 1, so that's going to be 6x squared, take away 2x, take away 6x, add 2, simplify that, we get 6x squared take away 8x plus 2 and let's multiply that by the two terms in the first bracket so that's 2x and take away 1 so 6x squared times 2x well that's going to be 12x cubed 2x times negative 8x that's negative 16x squared 2x times positive 2 plus 4x. 6x squared times negative 1, negative 6x squared. Negative 1 times negative 8x is positive 8x. And negative 1 times positive 2 is negative 2. Go along the diagonals to simplify. That's 12x cubed. 
I've got negative 6x squared take away 16x squared, so that's negative 22x squared, plus 8x plus 4x, so that's plus 12x, and finally take away 2. And so finally we come to the exam question, it was from the Edexcel paper in June 2017 and it was higher paper 1. And it asks us to show that x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3 can be written in the form ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, where a, b, c and d are positive integers. Now all of this at the end isn't actually that useful until we get to the very end of the question. Basically all it's saying is expand those three brackets. And so all I'm going to do is what I've done previously, x plus 2 times x plus 3. Well, that's going to be x squared plus 5x plus 6. That is my first piece of working out, the expansion of x plus 2, x plus 3. And then I just want to multiply that by the other bracket. So I need to multiply it by x plus 1. And so x squared plus uh, times x is x cubed. x times 5x is plus 5x squared x times plus 6 is plus 6x, x squared times plus 1 is plus x squared, 1 times 5x is 5x, and 1 times 6 is 6. And then all I want to do, simplify my result, so that's going to be x cubed, x squared plus 5x squared, plus 6x squared, plus 5x plus 6x, it's plus 11x and plus 6. Does it do what it suggests? Well, it should be in the form of something x squared plus something x plus something x plus something. And all of those should be positive numbers. Well, in this case, a would be 1, b would be 6, c would be 11, and d would be 6. So we have done exactly what was asked.